Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Vanilla Season 3. Today we're back over at Port Hypermind. We're going to be working on the house, doing a little interior design. You ready? Let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to do some interior design here on the Port Hypermine house. I've got Kondrick over here. Say hi. And then Vance Crafter over there doing some work on his house. But let's not get sidetracked. Let's go over this way. We're going to go in here and just take a look around and see what... Oh, oh, hey. Gifts from the Far Lands. What's this? Ooh, nice. So, uh, we don't really need to... I have a sign of who sent this. This is from Jan, who's been working on the Guardian Farm and doing a wonderful job. So thank you very much, Jan, for that gift. We're going to put that over somewhere, maybe in here. How about that? So what we're going to do is also put this here. Before we can do anything here in this this first floor we've got to move the dogs out of the way so let's get them come on are you gonna move okay good let's come over this way come on doggies I want you out of the house okay that's three let's get them okay so we got another one he's taking his sweet time you can sit right there on the porch. We're going to sit you there, you there, and you there. And then the next order of business will be to clear all of this stuff out. So let me take care of that off camera, and then we will get to the interior design. Because I've got all my materials right there, ready to go. All right, back in a bit. All right, now we've got our clean slate here for the first floor. And what we're going to be working on is getting a kitchen, a little dining room, and a little bit of a den slash living room all in this area. I've said before, limitation is the key to creativity. So our limitation here is a rather small area of, of effect, of design. And right as soon, you know what, we're going to, no, we got too many, too many villagers around and I don't want a zombie horde on my watch. So what we're going to do is grab some items here for the kitchen, get some of those trap doors. We're going to be needing that. Probably don't need a shovel. And then, you know what, I think we can probably just grab all of this stuff at once and then our first order of business we're going to bring in some shelves like so and then up top here we're going to bring in some other shelves and then over here what we want to do is get our range hood like so and then we can put away our our trap doors for just a moment we're going to get the stove going just going to use actual furnaces here. I'm going to make it look like we've got some burners on top there. And then we'll bring in some cauldrons for our sink. And then, you know what? It might be kind of cool to fill one of those with some water. And then we'll put a little bit of a faucet right like so. And that is the kitchen. Well, no, not, not quite done just yet. What we want to do is we'll grab, let's see, we need a decent walkway right here. So I think one is going to be fine. Well, what we will do is put a dining area right like so. That might be cutting it. No, oh, that's cutting it a little too close. I've got an axe on my hot bar, so we can actually use that. Let's do that. We'll grab that. And boom, there we go. All right, next up, bring a piece of string in. Put that string right there. 
And that is going to hold up our table. We had had some. Hmm. Ah, how it flew over there, I have no idea. But there we go. There's our table. And then what we're going to do is grab some spruce wood like so. And that's going to be a little counter for us. And there we go. I think our kitchen is pretty much done. Done. Is that, that should be good. Should be good. All right. Next up, we need to bring in some plant life. And so you've seen me do this trick before. We're going to bring in the cauldron and and some this time we're going to go with birch leaves so what we'll do is we'll put a sea lantern right there cauldron right there water and birch leaf bam so we've got a little bit of some vegetation right as soon as we walk in we should be able to get rid of that torch and our light levels up here you know what i'm not going to check it because it tends to make obs go kind of crazy so so yeah, our, our next order of business, we're going to put away this. We'll bring it back a little later. Don't you worry, but we need to get a little separation here on this wall. And if you didn't know about that little trick right there. Yeah, so trap doors have gotten a lot more useful in this version of Minecraft, which is pretty cool if you do ask me. And uh, I don't know if you did, but, you know, just in case you did. So there we go. We're back up a little bit so we, we can shift click that on. We're going to use these to make a little wall here. And I guess we kind of just have to go like, no, no, we're not going to put one there. Because we've got a little bit extra that we need to do. In fact, let's just take care of that right now. We've got some shelving that we can put in right there. And then shift click like so and then like so and there's our wall and then what we're going to do is come over here take that out and I said I wasn't going to need the shovel but lo and behold I need the shovel and what we're going to do is bring in some banners and our sea lanterns we're going to do that and that's going to give us a little bit of light so that these banners actually show through as soon as we bring in our furniture. You know, I used birch in our modern house in season two. I'm doing it again, probably because I just want a little bit of a contrast from the rest of the wood that's being used in here. And, uh, and I think that works really well. See, we've got the spruce right here. We've got some dark oak on the outside here. And if you're wondering, I, I had a problem with this at first. You see the glass texture? It's not not very cool. Um, and B00 actually saw that in his um, when he got Optifine. He's corrected that, but he hasn't released the latest and greatest of his texture pack. So what I'm doing right now is just checking my uh, my screenshots here. And let's go over, there we go. We've got a good, good look at our, yeah, we've got a good look at the living room area. So we'll just knock this out. And that goes to a basement that we may not end up using, but I don't think that'll be a problem. We're going to do that as well. A little bit of glowstone action there. And we'll have to do... Uh, oh yeah there we go so we can do that and then like we did earlier with the, the overall plant uh, plant trick you've seen me do this we're gonna do it once again sea lantern cauldron bring out some of this water like so and then we can clear up our inventory a little bit and what we'll do put another sea lantern I got rid of them all out of my inventory we're gonna put another one of those right there and then I think we're done with the sea lanterns for now until maybe the next project here let's do that and then we'll bring in our birch leaves and then we've got some, some vegetation going and then we'll stone slab for a coffee table all right, 
So that's a pretty simple design. Maybe we'll throw in some more shelves up here. So the idea this season is medieval. And you'll note that in this particular living area, we don't have a TV. We're not going to do a TV this time. Don't really need them. And if we're doing medieval, TVs weren't invented back then. So we're going to leave it out. So we've got our kitchen, got a dining room, got a living room. We've managed to squeeze that into this small space. I really, really am pleased with how this has turned out. You know what? Maybe get a little bit more there. What do you think? Anyway, let me know what you think about the interior design here. If it has inspired you for your own builds, do let me know. Send me a screenshot. I'd love to see what you're working on. And uh, anyway, if you haven't done so already, think about hitting the like button down below. And if you're not already subscribed, think about subscribing. It doesn't cost you a dime. It helps out the channel and make sure that you are up to date with what's going on right here. So anyway, without further ado, thank you so much for sharing a little bit of your day with me. It means a lot. Don't take it for granted. And uh, I, I do appreciate it. So that's it for now. Join us next week. We've got so uh, iron farm storage, maybe. Or we also need to do some work upstairs. We'll see what we end up doing. But that's going to be it for now. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.